What's cooking everyone and welcome to the greatest cooking show on the internet with Paul Bay. Today we're making something a bit peculiar, especially if you've never tasted or seen it before. Chinese jelly noodles, which is this beautiful cold serve noodles using a bit of mung bean starch, water, and patience. This is traditionally a Sichuan dish, so we'll be pairing it with some flavorful heat and spice. Charmy here loves Sichuan and spicy food. That's right. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button or else. Starting off with some water and some mung bean starch, which are the two key ingredients. This is the brand of mung bean starch that I like to use, and as you can tell from the front, there are a lot of different uses for it, so it's good to have around. And now we're going to start by mixing these ingredients with a 1 to ratio of starch and water. And keep in mind that the full ratio is 1 to 9, we're just using a little bit right now for the initial mixing. Mix this until it's smooth and fully dissolved, and we're already ready to cook it. Heat up the remaining water until it's simmering but not yet boiling. Quick mix right before, and start pouring it in slowly while stirring at the same time. Temperature control is critical here. Keep it on a medium low heat until it starts to form, then turn it down to a low heat and just constantly stir it and stir it. You can see and feel it start to gelatinize and thicken, and cook it up until the point where it feels like there's no more liquid left. Just like this. One solid, slightly transparent mixture, ready to go. And pour this out into a flat, wide tray. The wider the better because it'll keep the layer of starch thin and make it much easier to cut later. Smooth it out neat and pretty to make sure that everything is distributed evenly. Give it a few passionate bangs and shakes. Voila! Jelly noodles, level 1 complete. Let this cool down slightly in room temperature, then fridge it for 2 hours. And we're back at it. Flip it upside down gently onto your cutting board. And as you can see, my jelly is slightly lengthier than my knife. So what I'm going to do is chop off a little bit off the bottom and top to make it easier to cut. Don't worry, we're still going to use this. You can see just how sturdy it is. You can handle it, pull it, and it still maintains that jelly texture. Wet the knife to prevent any stickiness, and then just start cutting to around a little bit less than one centimeter size pieces. You don't need to rush this and risk breaking any of our jellies, so just take your time and cut them as even as possible. Bam! Beautiful jelly noodles. Amazing. Depending on how thick your jellies are, you can cut them in half again to give them that perfect size. Look how cool these look. Baobe jelly noodles done. Now it's time for our mouthwatering spicy Sichuan sauce. Let's get to it. We're gonna start with a couple cloves of garlic, which we're gonna mince real quick. Throw them in the Hello Kitty bowl and complement that with some black vinegar for acidity. Of course, our Baobe chili oil. Good heaping amounts of it too, as much as your heart desires. Soy sauce for some flavor and saltiness. Sesame oil for fragrance. A bit of sugar to treat unwanted flavor. And a nice generous amount of Sichuan peppercorn for that authentic Sichuan flavor. Gentle, passionate mixing. This sauce is excited and ready to be used. But we're not quite done yet. We got some toppings here. Scallions and some cilantro as well as some peanuts, which these are raw, so we're going to go ahead and roast these real quickly. I'm just going to throw a handful in the toaster oven on a medium heat about 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes or until you see them start to brown. Give it a nice rubbing to get rid of the skin. Freshly roasted peanuts ready for the hammer. Do this in a bag to prevent the peanuts from flying out everywhere and joyfully crush them into bit-sized pieces. Yum. Final prep level, we're going to split the scallions, then dice them. These look good. And same for the cilantro. Always make sure you cut the stems very fine when using this as a topping. And the leaves can be much more coarse. Just a rough chop. Final topping done. Spicy sauce, cilantro, scallions, freshly roasted peanuts. Enjoy the assembly.
Mitatakimasu. And you can see if it's made well, even with all that handling, it's still very sturdy. Let's go for it. Mmm. Such a unique texture with these jelly noodles. They're firm to the touch, but then very tender and soft right when you start chewing on them. It almost just kind of melts within two or three chews. And they got such a wonderful glide right down your throat too. This sauce truly gives you that authentic flavor of Sichuan cuisine. It's flavorful, super spicy, a little bit numb, and just a treat to eat. Those roasted peanuts really help bring out the fragrance as well, just make it so aromatic. If you like spicy Sichuan cuisine, you cannot miss out on this. The contrast with the cold noodles and spicy sauce. I hope you guys greatly enjoyed this video. And if you like Sichuan cuisine like this, please let me know because I have a lot of different other dishes that I want to share. And that goes for anything else too. If you have anything you want me to make, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll take a look at them. Remember, subscribe, share, chop that like button. Thanks for watching.